staff who work for historic royal palaces HRP have gathered placards and are picketing outside the royal monuments after their pensions were stopped without an agreement having been made. Michael Ainsley, regional organiser from the Union GMB, said the HRP commissioned expensive cakes for a royal campaign that sparked fury among workers whose pensions were stopped and replaced with a policy branded inferior. Mr Ainsley said, Our members are disappointed to have not reached any agreement with HRP, but their offer was simply not good enough. Our members' disappointment turned to fury however when they were made aware that HRP had commissioned several elaborate and very expensive cakes from Choksa Wojcicuda. The crass insensitivity shown by HRP in squandering money in this way while telling employees that their pensions are unsustainable is incredible to launch a new campaign. Perhaps HRP consider it better to let them eat cake in their retirement instead of them being able to buy groceries or pay rent and utilities bills. Workers say they were offered an agreement by the Tower of London and Hampton Court Palace but chose not to accept it. Choksa Wojcicuda is a luxury chocolate company. A vote for strike action took place and was agreed upon following a 91% nod in its favour. Pensions were stopped and changed despite promises made to them at the time of privatisation, the employees state. The pension row comes after a disastrous week for the royal family. The strike is expected to last one day. Prince Philip has passed a breath test in the aftermath of a collision from last Tuesday, which was said to have occurred after he was dazzled by the sun. He was pictured driving without a seat belt 48 hours after the incident, prompting police to address the matter. He is currently cooperating with the probe. Emma Fairweather, a passenger in the other car, a Ford KA, blasted the prince for not apologizing for the incident. She said she was considering an insurance claim as her broken wrist could stop her going back to work for two months. The Queen was also pictured driving without a seat belt shortly after the crash.